So you're looking to have a spooky playable ghost sim. Well, it's quite easy to do. Firstly, even if you're just making one ghost sim, you'll ideally want to have two sims in total in the household. Then you'll want to make them friends. And I'm not talking good friends, I'm talking best friends. As in, make sure that that green friendship bar is maxed or very close to maxed. After that, whichever sim you want to become a ghost, you'll want to kill them. Yes, we're becoming sim murderers, but who isn't these days? Now, there is of course the old favourite death by drowning, simply have a sim enter a pool and then fence them in. Alternatively, the stable is of course to have them burn while trying to cook and failing miserably. However you want them to die, doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat, go for it. Now, once that sim has passed away and your other sim is mourning, you'll want them to take to their gravestone and strengthen their connection to the physical world. This will stop their ghost spirit from fading. Then, it's time to be on the lookout for their ghost at night. It can take a few days, but eventually you should see a ghost appear, in which case you can greet them, and then if your friendship bar is full, or very close to being full, you can invite them into your household. Relationships with the sim from before their death will carry on to the ghost, which is why it's a good idea to max the friendship bar before they die. Otherwise, you'll have to build the friendship with the ghost sim who floats in and out of the game, and they're quite hard to repeatedly and reliably locate. But once you've invited them into your household, then they will become a playable ghost sim. Do note that there is another way to have a playable ghost sim, and that is to go straight into create a sim, and you'll want to add a new sim from the gallery. If you search for sims in the gallery using the term ghost, then countless options of ghost sims will appear. From here, you can select them and merge or replace your current sim before being able to customize that ghost sim in Creator Sim however you like and then save them as your own household. Then, simply play them. Alas, that's how to get a playable ghost sim in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.